Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Mary Olwoma. The West African Examination Council, WIAC, has released the results of the 2020 Senior Secondary School Certificate Examination. WIAC had earlier announced that the results would be released on Monday, 2nd of November 2020. WIAC said the release of the results was delayed due to the violence and arson in the country. And the Senate Committee on Public Account has raised eyebrows over an alleged 110.4 million naira paid to the non-existing staff by the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAM. The Senate Committee, led by Matthew Warwick Day, investigation was a sequel to, the, to a report of the Auditor General of the Federation, Antony Ayini, which was submitted to the lawmakers. Ayini had observed that 66 persons who were removed from the payroll before the end of 2013 each received 110.4 million naira between one month and 23 months. He further noted that no evidence was shown that these officers resigned their appointment, absconded or were a legitimate employee of JAM. And the Police Service Commission, PSC, has stated that it would not compel any police officer to return to duty. The PSC said this on Sunday in a statement by Ike Chukuani, its head of media and public affairs. The statement was in reaction to a newspaper publication which stated that the commission had threatened to dismiss officers who failed to return to work. The commission, while reiterating that the report was false, emphasized that it would be most insensitive for the commission to dismiss any policeman who does not return to work. Recall that over 20 police officers were also killed by hoodlums and dozens of stations were set ablaze. And Minister of Health Osage Eharmiri has warned that a second wave of COVID-19 outbreak is imminent in the country following the recent NSARS protests, where many protesters threw caution to the wind and violated the COVID-19 protocols. This is coming as some countries in Europe are experiencing a second wave of COVID-19 infections and considering fresh lockdowns. He attributed his prediction to the high volume of human traffic between Nigeria and those countries adding that the disruption in response caused by the hashtag NSAS protest had become a source of worry to the government. And the power distribution companies have commenced the implementation of the revised electricity tariff that was jointly agreed upon by organized labor and the federal government. According to the Nigeria Labor Congress, the federal government would not revert to the September 1, 2020 service reflective tariff that led to the widespread outcry across the country. Deputy President NLC, who doubles as um, General Secretary, National Union of Electricity Employees, Joe Ajero, while speaking to John Lee, stated that the September 1, 2020 hike in tariff had been reviewed downwards in most categories, confirming the adjustments which led to a revised tariff. The Abuja Electricity Distribution Company announced on Sunday that with effect from November 1, 2020, it has effected the revised service reflective tariff, which has been approved by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. And in Tanzania, a Tanzanian opposition leader said when police has arrested several opposition figures and sealed off areas where a peaceful demonstration was to begin on Monday over last week's disputed election. Emmanuel Mvula, campaign manager with the ACT was a Lindo party, told John Lee that security forces were deployed in the commercial hub of Dar es Salaam, where the two main opposition parties planned to march to the National Electoral Commission. The opposition has demanded a repeat vote, citing widespread irregularities and called for protest against the outcome from last week's election, which returned President John Magufuli to office with 84% of the vote. And in sports, a second-half penalty from uh, Emerick Bamayang made it a frustrating day for Manchester United as Arsenal claimed a 1-0 victory at Old Trafford. The Arsenal keeper fired past David De Gea from the sport after Paul Pogba tripped Hector Bellerin in the area. In a scrappy 90 minutes, United had gone close to scoring through chances for Mason Greenwood and Harry Maguire and a deflector Johnny van der Beek crossed late on, but the Gunners held firm. Manchester United are yet to secure a victory at Old Trafford this season, with the win Arsenal climbed to ninth position on the table, while Manchester United occupies the 15th position. And that's all for now on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.